Hey everyone, welcome to Victory Kalamba. Welcome to our online prayer meeting. It is so good to have you with us today. Di man tayo magkakaharap personally, pero nakakapag-pray pa rin tayo virtually together. And that's what we want. We want to dedicate our Wednesday praying to God together. Though hindi face-to-face, I hope na okay lang kayo dyan at meron sana kayong kasama na nanonood nito. Na sa ganun, kapag ka pinagpipray na po natin yung mga prayer points, meron po tayong matatawag para magsama-sama na manalangin sa Panginoon. Now, isa sa ating aim ngayong taon o isa sa ating goal is para tayo magkaroon, mag- maging deeper. Deeper with our relationship with God, deeper with relationship with each other, and deeper with our relationship even with the people who needs to know the gospel. And ang galing lang kasi di sinimulan yung taon na na-test agad yung ating ano yung ating vision, yung ating goal to be deeper. And tong prayer meeting natin, we want to dedicate this para tayo po as a church maging deeper po tayo sa pananampalataya natin sa Panginoon. That is why starting tonight, we are going to look at the book of Psalms in order that ma lumalim tayo hindi lang sa pagkakaunawa natin sa kung sino ang papanginoon hindi lang natin pag-aaralan kung sino siya pero titingnan din natin yung ano yung pagpapalalim sa relationship natin sa kanya and with that tonight we are going to look at Psalm chapter 3 if you have your bibles with you kindly open it up to Psalm chapter 3 basahin ko lang po sa inyo in Psalm chapter 3 verse 1 says here, a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son. So, merong context kung kailan ito nangyari. It says here, O Lord, how many are my faults? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. Selah. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and He answered me from His holy hill, Selah. I lay down and slept, and I woke again, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. Selah. This is the word of the Lord. Can we just take this moment and pray? Father, we thank you for again another Wednesday when we can, where we can gather as a church virtually and listen to the preaching of the word and pray together. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, for you have given us Unity, that even in this season kung saan kami ay may social distancing, Lord, no distance can separate us, Lord, from you. And salamat that your spirit is upon us all and we can connect to you and we can pray to you, Lord, and at the same time pray with each other as a community, as a church, declaring your favor upon our country, upon our church, and upon our family. Salamat po. Panginoon, I pray that as we study the book of Psalms this season, I pray that you will reveal yourself to us more and more. Dalangin namin, Panginoon, na hindi lang namin basta makilala ka at madagdagan yung information na alam namin tungkol sa'yo, pero dalangin po namin na mas makilala ka namin ng malalim dahil yun po ang pinagpipray namin ngayong taon na lumalim kami sa pananampalataya namin sa'yo. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, for your grace. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. A little background about Psalm chapter 3. This psalm is the first psalm with a title. Malinaw din kung sino yung nagsulat nito. Sinabi dun sa psalm, this is a psalm of David. And nilagay din yung context. Kung baga, nangyari ito nung si David, he fled from Absalom. Absalom, his son. 
si Absalom that time wanted to kill David. Makikita mo yung kwento na to sa 2 Samuel chapter 15 to 16. With this psalm, makikita natin how a man of God like David uh, models faith in responding to situations like this or yung dire circumstances. Now, this moment, makikita rin natin dito sa psalm kung paan describe ni David yung kanyang feeling, David felt utterly overwhelmed by the sheer weight of the opposition. Opposition yung things that are against him. Makikita natin in verse 1, many are rising against me. So, Sometimes, oh, hindi naman natin alam kung ilan talaga yung kalaban ni David. I am sure merong mga ta, may mga may mga alagad si Absalom. Pero hindi natin alam kung ilan yon. Pero isn't it true that sometimes meron tayong mga problems na kapag kabinilang mo numerically, parang konti lang naman. Pero it felt like there are so many that is against us. I am sure yun yung nararamdaman ni David dito. How many are my foes? Many are rising against me. It's so overwhelming. Even in verse 6, sinabi niya, many thousands of people have set themselves against me. All around. So, kumbaga, surrounded na siya. Libu-libu pa yung mga kaaway niya. Sobrang overwhelming. Tapos, kapag katinignan natin, in verse 1, Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. Kung baga, pag may tumingin daw sa sitwasyon niya, parang ang sinasabi na, wala nang pag-asa yan. Wala nang salvation, salvation pa yan. And isn't it true that sometimes we get to that point where other people, when they look at us, parang sinasabi nila, wala nang pag-asa. Uh, kapag katinignan mo yung panahon natin ngayon, kapag tumingin ka sa social media, Makita mo na ano na may mga tao na sinasabi nila na hindi effective yung naging enhanced community quarantine, na hindi na matatapos to or matatapos to pero pag natapos to magkakaroon ng relapse. Now I'm not here to give an official uh, statement or an expert advice kasi I am in no way expert pagdating sa mga pag sa bagay na to. Pero my point is ganito naman talaga. Kung baga, kapag dumadaan tayo sa mga malalaking pagsubok, kapag dumadaan tayo sa actually kahit anong challenge, there are voices all around us that saying na wala na pag-asa o yung voice of hopelessness. Meron talagang ganun. Now, if you think about it, ano yung mga voice of hopelessness na pinagdadaanan mo yun, yung mga naririnig mo yun? It can, it, can came, it can come from anyone. It can come from your... Uh, news feed sa wall mo, sa Twitter mo, or it can come from a friend, or minsan from a family pa, or minsan from people who who does not like you. So it can come from anyone. So tuloy lang natin pagbabasa dito. Um, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Verse 1. Many are saying to my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. Say la. Uh, di ko alam kung napansin mo yung part na yun Mer meron nakalagay doon na word Sela Now this is a word commonly found in the book of Psalms uh, Medyo maraming beses na ulit ang Sela And uh, no one really knows kung ano yung ibig sabihin nito Some commentators think that Sela meant to pause Or it's a musical term, ancient musical term Or to reflect and But we can never really know uh, I mean, nag-research ko about this, uh, walang definite answer kung ano to, kasi the scripture did not clarify kung ano yung But we do believe that this is important kasi nasama sa Bible eh. Maybe what we need right now is a pause, a time to reflect, a time to think. Balikan lang natin. At i-take natin tong time na to, opportunity na to, kung saan nakapag-pray tayo together. And we listen to God's word. Balikan lang natin. Ano nga ba mga pangako ng Panginoon? Sino nga ba siya? We're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna take a pause. We're gonna look to God. And just like David, I pray that we will see God as our shield, as our sustainer, and our savior. We're gonna look at that three aspects of who God is tonight. Una-una is shield. 
Psalm chapter 3, verse 3, it says here, But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Yung word na shield in the original language is a small shield uh, strapped in an arm for hand-to-hand -hand combat or yung close personal conflict. Uh, this is not the tower type shield. This is not even the elongated long shield na ginagamit nung, nung gera, nung unang panahon. Hindi ito yung shield na yun. May ibang word for that. Shield. If you like an illustration kung ano tong shield na tinutukoy dito. It's a very small shield na parang ano, parang shield ni Captain America. Ganito yung shield na yun. Yung easy to move, very close to yourself. This is something that, uh, na ano, na mabilis bunutin. And it symbolizes the Lord Himself as our immediate and effective shield when experiencing personal attack. Ito yung kapag ka may biglang aatake sa'yo, something na yung, yung mabilisan, yung, yung parang hindi mo in-expect. Ito yung bigla mo lang masasalag na ganun. Ito yung shield na pinag-uusapan dito. Now, isn't it true that there are so many attacks all around us? Yung biglaan, yung hindi mo inaasahan. Alam mo yung sinabi na hindi ka, ah, na meron ka pa rin trabaho, pero nalaman mo na yung trabaho mo, hindi naman nabawasan, pero yung sweldo mo pala mababawasan. Yung na-caught off guard, narasa mo na ba ma-caught off guard? Ito, ito yung pangsalag sa mga ganun, yung shield, si Lord. Si Lord, hindi siya yung parang kailangan mo pang uh, maraming, mar maraming, maraming ceremonias pa para ma-access mo yung protection that comes from Him. No, He is always available. Just like yung shield na mabilis i-ganon-ganon, may umatake sa'yo dito sa side nito, iharang mo. Pag may umatake dito sa side nito, iharang mo. And with the news being thrown all around us, the bad news coming all around us, I hope that we are gonna take our shield, which is si God, and we're gonna defend ourselves, remind ourselves, teka, hindi, hindi ito, hindi ito yung katotohanan, itong atake na to, hindi ako tatapapekto dito, use your shield. The Lord is our shield. The Lord is our effective shield. Shielding us from personal attacks. Pangalawa makikita natin dito in verse 5 that He is our sustainer. Sabi sa verse 5, I lay down and slept. I woke again for the Lord sustained me. Yung word na sustained, it's to lean, to lay, to rest, to support. Have you, na experience mo ba yung ganun? Yung natulog ka pero, pero napagod ka. Kasi nga, hindi physical yung pagod na nararamdaman mo. Pag inisip mo na, ngayon pa, ngayong nasa bahay pa tayo, dito, dito ka pa napapagod ng ganun. Eh, pag tinignan mo, kung ang lapit, Konti lang yung kinikilusan mo eh. Iba sa atin, eto na yung siya ba? Hindi na agad yung kwarto. Di ba? Hindi ka naman naman pagod sa paglalakad. Pero bakit, bakit may pagod tayo nararamdaman na mas nakakapagod pa kesa na natatrabaho tayo sa labas? Could it be that there's this massive unrest sa heart natin na pumipigil sa atin para ma-experience natin yung tunay na painga? I want to encourage you tonight, in this world of unrest, only in God can we find true rest. He is our sustainer. Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I want to encourage you today, come to him. Come to him. I know it's challenging kasi itong massive internal unrest na nararamdaman natin sa loob natin, it tends to draw us away from God. That sometimes, ang ginagawa natin yung nagkakaroon tayo ng escapist mentality. We try to I mean, fulfill yung inner desires natin. Nag-overeating tayo. Some of us fall into addiction. I hope that instead of doing that, we look to the true source of rest. 
Kasi kapag ka pinag-isipan mo buti, all these things that we think that are satisfying us, it never really satisfies. Tama ba? For most of, uh, for most of those things, what happens is kapag ka nag-fall tayo, it leaves us guilty and condemned. Mas pagod pa. So I want to encourage you tonight, come to God, connect to Him. He is the true source of rest. Amen? Finally, sabi dito, He is our Savior. Savior in Psalm chapter 3, verse 7. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Now, what a great illustration. That our God is a Savior, someone who delivers us in the original language. It means salvation, deliverance out of danger. For most of us, we are in danger right now. Unang-una from COVID out there. Pangalawa, dun sa mga pinagdadaanan pa natin. Minsan may mga internal battles pa tayo. Or kadalasan tayo, may internal battles tayo. We need someone to save us. We need someone to fight for us. The Lord is that Savior. The Lord fights for us. Would you let Him fight for you? Ito, napaka-vivid dito. For you strike all my enemies on the cheek. I could only imagine the Lord punching COVID in the teeth. Imagine mo, ganito ka-vivid. You experience it, David. He imagines that it's as if God is in His physical form punching the enemies in the feet. In their, in their face, breaking their teeth, punching the wicked, fighting for him. And that is who our God is. He is a God who fights for his people. I pray that when, when the time comes that you feel unsafe, when the time comes you feel in danger, in whatever area of your life, we will go to God and ask for salvation. For He is a God who fights for us. And as I close, I want to ask you this question. What overwhelms you today? Ano yung mga bumabagabag sa puso mo? Ano yung mga battle na pinagdadaanan mo? Of course, there's COVID. Alam na natin yan. Lahat tayo dumadaan dyan. But on top of COVID, meron pa. Sa trabaho ba yan? Sa pamilya ba yan? Sa... Uh, finances ba yan? In whatever battle that you have right now, let me encourage you. If David had a great source of calm or meron siyang source ng peace, we have a greater source than David. For there is one, for there is this someone who did not strike God's enemies on the cheek. But instead, he let himself be struck in the cheek. Hindi ito yung ano, hindi ito yung lumaban. In fact, ito, ito nga yung binubugbog na sinasabihan pa kung ikaw talaga yung king of the Jews, kung Diyos ka talaga, i-prophesy mo sino bumubog sa'yo. But he didn't fight that day. He received the punishment even to the point of death, death on the cross, so that we, right now, can be saved from our ultimate enemy, which is sin and death, and that today, we will become overcomers. Jesus allowed himself to be truly overwhelmed by his enemies in order for us to be an overcomer. I hope that we'll be confident as we pray later on. I hope that even in the midst of great trials, even in the midst of great challenges, we will be confident before God, knowing that He is a God who fights for us. In fact, He is a God who fought for us, defeated our greatest enemy empowered us today to face our enemies today. I hope that instead of looking at the great horde of enemy, at the, so many things 
that can that can distract us from our focus, we will look to God and fight. Amen. I want to pray for you right now. Can we all bow our heads and pray? I want to pray for three groups of people today or tonight. Before we pray later on, I want to pray for three groups of people. Una, una, if you are experiencing personal attacks, I don't know what that is, either a verbal attack or uh, emotional attack or anything that would qualify dun sa personal attacks, I want to pray for you. Can you can you type in the comment, lagay mo lang, ano, uh, I can relate. I can relate. Kasi the moment na ipagpipray natin siya mamaya, uh, the staff, the leaders are also praying. So we want to direct our prayers dun sa uh, kung sino talaga yung nangangailangan. If that is you, you're experiencing any form of personal attack. We want to pray for you. Amen? I want to pray for you. Lord, I lift up to you every person who are experiencing personal attack right now. Lahat ng uh, nanonood po ngayon at nagko-comment na nakakaranas ng ma- massive personal attack. Lord, you have said in your word that you are our shield. You are our shield who's ready to defend us anytime, anywhere. And Lord, I pray that you will teach us, teach them, Lord, to draw sh- this shield Teach them, Lord, to use the shield, Lord, to parry the attacks of the enemy, Lord. And, and Lord, I pray that even like that small shield na nakastrap po dun sa braso namin, we can even use this, Lord, to not just parry the attacks of the enemy, but Lord, to to even make it as, as a weapon, Lord, to push back dito po sa ano sa mga naranasan namin personal attack we speak against any emotional attack right now anxiety depression in the name of Jesus be our shield lord we push back allow us lord to see things through the eyes of faith in Jesus name I want to pray for another group of people. If you're here, you're feeling unrest. Ramdam mo yon yung yung natutulog ka pero pagising mo pagod ka pa rin. Naka-relate ka dun sa partner. I want to pray for you. If that is you. Kaya again, comment ka lang. Lagay mo uh, I can relate. Uh, Lord, you are my rest. Type mo lang, Lord, you are my rest. And we'll pray for you. The leaders who are seeing your name in the comment box will pray for you. But right now, I want to lift. I, I want to lift you up to God. I want to pray for you, Lord. I lift up to you every person who's watching right now that is feeling this personal, you know, internal unrest. Lord, just like you have said in your word, you are our sustainer. You are our source of rest. So, Panginoon, dalangin ko po ngayon that you would give us rest. Unang-una, Panginoon, would you help us to see you, to focus on you, not our problems, to see you, to see how great you are, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that you will give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. And Lord, I I even pray right now, Lord, that you would give these people ngayong Wednesday night, Lord, give give them a good night's sleep. I pray that you're the ones going to rejuvenate us, Lord, strengthen us so that we can face tomorrow fully charged and ready. In Jesus' name. Lastly, I want to pray for people who, who are feeling unsafe right now. Uh, you know who you are. Alam mo yung pakiramdam na ganito. Yung, yung par- unsure ka kung ano yung mangyayari. Tapos yung feeling na parang kipot ka. Yung you are in fear for yourself. Tapos naisip mo na puro self-preservation. 
nahirapan ka na makinig kay Lord kasi inisip mo paano ang pamilya ko, paano ako, ganun na yung, ganun na yung thinking mo. I want to pray for you. If that is you, again, comment mo on the comment box, the Lord is my refuge, the Lord is my Savior. I-type mo lang doon. We'll pray for you, the leaders who are watching right now, and they see your name, they will pray for you. But allow me to pray for you right now. Lord, I pray for these people, these people who feels unsafe even in this season. I know, Panginoon, it is, it is normal for people to feel unsafe kapag ganito yung nangyayari. But Lord, we want to transcend the normal and walk in the supernatural, Lord. You are our Savior. You have said in your word, Lord, you are our deliverer and you're the ones gonna deliver us from danger. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. And I pray that right now you will touch the hearts of your people and make them feel safe. Thank you, God, for your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.